Welcome to Up Manager Tech videos. We all know that uninterrupted connectivity should be the top priority for any business. When it comes to monitoring your WAN and LAN networks of your organization, you might need more comprehensive look into your network to detect issues. Let's say you have an internal e-learning platform for your employees and you wanted to identify the slow network paths between your e-learning platform servers and your employees globally. You wanted to identify where the problem lies when users say that they can't access the platform or when access is delayed or blocked. Your IT team can do this by pinpointing network segments that are causing latency or packet loss. With network path analysis, you can identify bottlenecks that might be caused because of the overloaded routers, congested links, or any issues with the network devices or even with ISPs. When it comes to issues like gradual increase in latency, you can recognize the pattern by watching them very closely and resolve them proactively by monitoring network paths continuously. This is where Manage Engine Op Manager's Network Path Analysis feature helps. It enables you to examine your network path from any source to destination. With Op Manager's Network Path Analysis capabilities, visualize network routes, maintain the path history, monitor the latency and packet loss, and also track the hop by hop performance of the entire network path it travels through. Network Path Analysis uses Traceroute and Trace TCP to trace the network path. The difference between the two is that the Traceroute works by sending UDP or ICMP packets that the host listens for connections on. Whereas Trace TCP works by sending TCP sync packets instead of the ICMP or the UDP packets. This method is generally bypasses the firewall filters that might filter out the ICMP packets. Now let's learn how to set up the network path analysis in Op Manager? Log into Op Manager and click on Settings. Click on Network Path Analysis under Monitoring menu. To add a new path, click on Create New Path. If you want to use the Op Manager installed server as a source, you can select the local machine. Or if you wish, to select the source to be another Windows device, say an employee machine that sits at a different location, you can do that via an agent. Now you can select remote machine. All the devices that have the agent being installed for monitoring in the op manager will be listed here. Enter the host name or the IP address and that's the destination here. So the host name or the IP address of the e-learning platform server and the path name and provide the monitoring interval. Once you click save, you can see the network path visually represented with little nodes representing the hops in the path. By hovering over the nodes, you can also see the latency and packet loss between the source and destination and between each and individual hops as well. To be alerted about latency or packet loss, you can set thresholds by clicking on edit icon. If you want to be alerted about employees that take more than say 150 milliseconds to reach the site, you can configure the thresholds here. If you want to be alerted about any hops that take more than 10 milliseconds to travel between source and destination, for example, just select the hop by hop drop down and configure the thresholds accordingly. Finally, you can be alerted via notification alerts like email or SMS or any other kind of uh, notifications from the next drop down menu. Select the profile type and the profile and click save. So now that you have created a new network path analysis between an e-learning platform and an employee laptop. Op Manager also provides the option to create a dashboard widget for this network path analysis. Simply click on create new dashboard, enter the name of the description for the dashboard. Select the network path analysis widget and click next. Here you can select the users and click on create. Now you can see a new dashboard with the network path analysis being created. You can click the edit icon and choose the path you want to display for this particular widget.
Here, you can see multiple widgets about this network path analysis, which has different sources and different services as its destination. Now, once you configure the thresholds, you will start getting notified about the anomalies in the network path between the source and destination or between hops. Additionally, you can also view both the latency and packet loss history from the graphs in the analysis page. And network path analysis will retain this data for seven days. With the network path analysis feature, you can stay ahead of network connectivity anomalies and can be proactive in fixing them as well. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our Manage Engine iTom channel to receive updates about the latest features.